Generic greetings and welcome back to Shadows of Doubt. Today's beverage is a very nice green tea with coconut and mm, a very tasty beverage in Shadows of Doubt as well. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode, there was another murder at Do House or Do House, and well, we were investigating that in this episode. More of that because well, we do need to try and find the killer. So a couple of things. I was going to go to Ramirez's place of work, but I think that's a bit, a bit. Uh, undue at this stage. I think I think we're sort of rushing to that. There's a couple of things we could have done, and I should have done, in the previous video to try and find a little bit more. Firstly, didn't check CCTV, and secondly, although we did interact with the person that ran out and we cuffed, there they are, um, I didn't say things like, anything unusual? Oh, nothing, apparently. Okay. Uh, what is your name? Sorry, that's personal. I, I mean, I, f I already know it, but look, I'm just going to give you the money anyway. We're going to take the prints. We're going to interact everything well, with this person as much as we can. And uh, they give us our prints, which is fine. Uh, give us their prints. And got any change? Uh, there's two credits. <laughs> and we can actually get, uh, basically release them now and get our, get our cuffs back. I still don't think it was them, but yeah, basically we've got our cuffs and now we have, well, we have two sets of cuffs, which is always useful. So we have CCTV there, we have CCTV there, and we have uh, none there. So we need to find the CCTV room. Now, I don't believe it's in the basement. I'm going to have a quick look, but I don't think it's there. And, well, the reason for that is we've had a look around in this sort of building before. And, I mean, there are... Ooh, this is someone's... This is interesting. It's... It says we're trespassing. And there's like a note there. Oh, huh, it is it is someone's apartment, but it was just randomly left open. Yes, I believe that was the case. Hmm. Interesting. How curious. Anyway, back to the job at hand. We've got a uh, basement there. We've got nothing there. We've got, ah, no personnel. Ah, to well keep the lasers and I believe that's where they have their phone the phone server. So we don't need to interact with that. We can go this way and find darkness envelops this area. Yeah, it's another another storeroom. Oh, it's one of those storerooms with like bathrooms attached to it which were never really finished being built as far as I can tell and that's the same thing yep okay that's uh that's a thing so it's not here it's not here it's gonna be it's gonna be further up how many floors does this thing have how many floors does this thing have so go to the map and where we are now and it goes oh it goes up to the 17th floor is that correct? We are there. Yep. Yes, it does. So it goes up quite a bit. So I believe with this building, it's going to be mid-tier. It is going to be mid-tier. Oh, I need, I need to just go and... Uh, there we go. Get that to take over. Yeah, I think it's going to be midway. I mean, we'll have a quick look, but I'm, I'm not seeing them there or there. Uh, around here, no. I'm going to say it's, it's going to be between floors... 8 and 10, I would assume. There's 6. So I think it's going to be 8 and 10, but we'll have a quick look. Oh, hang on, there it is. Uh, floor, oh, floor 7. So it's a little bit earlier than I than I expected. So over to this. It says unknown address, but we obviously know what that is. And we'll have a look under, and I can't see anything. Oh, hang on, I think I did see some movement there. Ah, it's just like a little bug or something. Oh, but there is a janitor there. Ah, okay. So I'm going to close the door and knock. Yeah, all right. Okay. So, hello there. Talk to. And heard anything unusual? Nothing. Okay. What's your name? I'm not telling you. Okay. I mean, it's not going to let us in. Their name is Augustine Antonopoulos. That is a lovely name. Do you know this person? Let's go for Ramirez. Saw them somewhere around the house. What about 
Do you know this person? Hmm. Somewhere around Rasau Tower. Was the victim called again? It was Joanna Keith. Oh, right. Okay. And fingerprints, maybe? No, they won't. I mean, come on. Maybe. No, they're not, not going to. Okay, so we need to get in there. And, well, I don't think they're going to let us. Lexingham Management, it's called. Oh. They are... They are heading off. Goodbye. So we're in. Let's grab... Oh, blueprints. Take those. Take the key. We'll have a quick look through here. Stacks of paper. Hairpin. Matchbooks and a pipe there. Bit, bit, of, bit of money. Bit of money. Another hairpin. I mean, we don't need hairpins, but... Might as well pick them up. They're not going anywhere. And that's them sentient ones. So, we want to use this and surveillance. So, the murder was between 9.45 and... 9.45 and 11 on Thursday, January the 5th. So, Thursday... Let's go to the second floor. Aha, there we go. That is that now. And we'll skip across to keep going. So, here. 2142. There's someone there. Okay, let's toggle flag on footage. Oh, they appear all over the place. Oh, it appears they're going in that apartment. And again. And again. They're very busy. They're always in and out of that apartment. <laughs> okay. And, well, okay. That doesn't really strike me as something strange for now. Let's go. Ah. There is an unknown citizen. At 22.39, just before the murder. And then... Ah, a little bit after the fact. There. There are the two enforcers. And there should be one for Ramirez. There we are. So, okay. That's curious then. That person. Toggle flag on footage. Print that out for a start. So I'll take that. That's... That's what I'm hopefully going to use. It doesn't really help. Because it's unknown citizen. Can't really do anything about it. Toggle, uh, toggle on the footage. Forgot the lobby here. Um, <laughs> there's the janitor. <laughs> we spotted the janitor. So... Second floor, there, that person is tagged. If we go to the third floor, so I don't see them on the third floor, nor do we see them on any of these. So they didn't come up the stairs. Is that right? There they are there. And it's... I've toggled on here. I'm not seeing anything there. Let's just go to the ground floor. I've toggled on the footage. So it should be highlighted. Unless it's so small and I'm never going to see it. Ah, there we go. There is one here. It's on the first floor. So the camera just might have genuinely missed it. Oh. Well, it can see through walls, but it can't really catch that person. So that was the first floor. Basement. Nothing. 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 Okay. Ninth floor. It only goes up to the ninth floor, does it? So I'm just cycling through. If there's any red 
markings on that bar, I'll be able to check it. So we don't see them leave, but we do see them go up to the door. And there's the red marking there. I'm not seeing one there, but it's there's so much information, it is possible. I don't think we'll see them on here. No. Okay. Well, that's curious. So, we have definitely a picture of someone that entered the property literally minutes before the murder. So that's a decent... That's a decent lead. We want to talk to them to eliminate them from our inquiries. Now, it would be nice if I still had... If I could still talk to Ramirez, but I let them go. <laughs> Do you know this person? I mean, I can't click on that person. That's the that's the problem. And that's the picture, and that's them there. Unknown citizen. That's the person I wanted. Right. So, hello there. Talk to. Do you know this person? Them. Saw them at Lou Street on Thursday. Lou Street. They were nearby Thomason Boulevard. Headed east. Hmm. They were looking angry. Ah. Okay. You there. Do you know this person? Crump Parade. Today around... Oh, sorry, on Thursday. They were nearby Guro Street, headed to Guro Street. Right, so what's on that street then? Is there a bar? If there's any sort of public amenities or anything like that around here, that would be good. I wonder if. Let's just talk to random enforcer that's in here. Hello there, unknown citizen. What's your name? Travon Clement. Do you know this person? Thomason Boulevard. Again. Nearby McLeod Street or McLeod. Headed to City Hall Ground Floor Lobby. Hmm. Russell Tower, fifth floor landing. Ah, oh, why would they be at Russell Tower, 5th floor landing? Russell Tower, 5th floor landing. Okay. Let's... That's Everett. Let's we go to there? I mean, is there a bar around here? The closest is going to be this place here. So there was seen around here. Hello there. I'd like to buy something. I'll buy a donut, please. And while you're at it, do you know this person? Hmm. Russell Tower, third floor landing. Okay. Do they live in Russell Tower? Well, we've had fifth floor and we've had third floor. Hmm. Is it worth... Is it worth having a look? Hmm. Is it Russo? Is it worth having a look? It is, isn't it? Of course we're going to have to have a look. It's just a bit nebulous. Right, let's have a let's have a look. So, it said third floor. So, we're going to go up the third floor. We'll have a scan about, right? There's ten credits for just being alive. It's always good. And we'll get our print scanner. 
So what I'm going to do is check doors. What I'm looking for is... CT. CT is what we're looking for. And this is a bit of a scattershot approach. But if we check every single door on the way up here, you would think we'll get close to where they live. Potentially. I mean, it might this might be coincidence that they're in here. Could be total coincidence. But this is the fifth floor. We're on to DB now, DC. So, we scanned a fair few prints. And... No. Okay, let's start asking. Because if they do live in the building, the residents would surely know. Hello there. Not them. <laughs> so, do you know this person? Yeah, I know them. Aha! That's Jaiho. Oh, the work at Thomas and Boulevard. Sell them somewhere around Yang Suites. We have a name. Thank you. I, I actually wish I could give you some money for your troubles. That's a very handsome suit. Okay. Right. There they are. So, we know where they work. But we don't know... ...where they live. I'm going to assume it's this building, but the government database in a moment is going to confirm it either way. <laughs> and obviously this is, not, this is not necessarily the killer. I'm not saying that this is the killer at all. It's just... A, Happens to be a bit of a coincidence that the way they were there. Where was it? It was... Time of death is between 9.45 and 11. They were there at... 22.39. Six minutes before the earliest start of... Start of the murder? Does a murder start? I guess it has, has to have a start. So, let's have a little look at... Every time you do the side jobs to take pictures or whatever and the people wait here, I think it's just going to fill the lobby up until the game crashes. <laughs> Alright, so, government database on the good old unlocked computer. So, it is... Jai Ho Rang. And there we go. And they live at Rossau Tower, which is what we assumed in the first place. But they were, they were they were literally like a floor above. If we just kept going, we would have probably found where we needed to go. <laughs> we probably would have found them. But again, this is not the killer. We're just we're doing detective work. We need to do as much as we can to track them down. So back to back to the tower again. We're, we're going to use the elevator this time. We've had enough cardio for one day. And let's see if this matches up. Hopefully it does. I mean, I'm going to break into their apartment either way. If, well, sorry, we will definitely break in if the prints match. If they don't, then I, I don't know. We might have a look. We might have a cheeky look in. <laughs> we do hack the doors fast, oh, the, the pick lock. Uh, Lockpicking stuff, yeah. So, it is here. Someone is in the property. No key. I mean, ah, oh, of course. Should have even checked that. It is them. It is their fingerprint. We already had the fingerprint, and we got the fingerprints from yeah. Sorry, we got the fingerprints from the kit from the file. So the fingerprints come on the file. So this is the killer. We found them, or at least that's what we're going to assume. I wonder if they let a random stranger inside. Just checking for security. There's a security camera, and there's a gun thing up there. Hmm. 
Hmm. They have not opened the door yet. Let's lockpick it. Let's just take a bit of a less than subtle approach. Slight problem that we have. Is that they had a gun. Well, we stealthed up on them there. I went one way and they went the other. <laughs> okay. Let's inspect them. That's them. Let's let's put them in cuffs. Handcuff. Right. So. What? What was that? Oh, it's them. So we'll search them. A box of rifle rounds. <laughs> okay. So they have a box of rifle rounds. Let's start putting this case to bed. Resolve. What is the full name of the killer? It is them. Fingerprint. Match. Arrest the killer. Match. Where does the killer live? They live here. Um, 602. I don't really want to type it in because it can be a bit of a problem. I haven't found the murder weapon yet. They live... Uh, they live there. So they live in... There. Murder weapon. Right. I mean... Am I going to start asking them about where they keep their weapons? Let's put some lights on around here so we can actually see. There's their work ID. Sync... Clinic. Representative. Nope. Can't confirm they don't keep their murder weapon in a fridge. I mean, I could ask them some questions. There's a business card. Bandage. A note. Passcode. Perfect. That'll do us nicely. We've got their files. When in doubt, always rifle through the files. Just to populate stuff. Um, actually, should we check? We have... Spartan Insurance. Corporation payments. Rental payments. Nothing to... That person. Hmm. <laughs> Semi-automatic battle rifle. Uses high caliber... 0 .309 ammunition. Well, I wonder if it's that. <laughs> Have you located the murder weapon? Probably. I'm going to take it just so we can scan that. And we've got their prints all over it. What a surprise. Yeah, okay. And you can see I can. it says attack. I don't want to put that down there. And, um, well, let's let's see what they've got in their safe, right? So, passcode, yeah, you were born. It was that one. It is 1928. What have you got? Ah, sync disk upgrade vial. That's getting taken. Let's rifle through their computer then. And can I not sit down? There we go. Let's see what we've got on their emails. There's their profile. Vmail. You would think they were deleted. And in your email. Mm, it's not there. It's not there. Pest control. New match. Sync disk stuff. Not there, not there. None of this, none of this. Okay, right. What I'll do is go to where's their phone. It's here. So I'll pin the, I'll pin that there, and we're also going to pick up the phone and ring that back. See who, who, see who last called. So unable to get last caller information. 
Hmm. So what's probably happened is they've been... Take the key, take the money. Right. So, yeah, basically, we've got... They've received a call. Unknown caller. That's probably told them the target. I still don't know. I'm still not too sure as to why. I really don't know. We've searched the safe. We've searched the computer. We've found the rifle. That's... I mean, that's pretty much it, right? It's unlikely that it's anything else. Anything else that's here. I mean, these are just random books and such. Okay, well, I think we are going to... We're going to hand in. So we have... What is the full name of the killer? Tick. Caress the killer, Tick. Where does the killer live, Tick? Have you looked at the nerd weapon? I believe so. The fingerprint on the rifle cartridge matches that person. Bit of a mistake by... I just... I just forgot that the government database gives you their fingerprint. Uh, so... <laughs> I just... I, I use the government database to find where they live to then get a fingerprint where it just gives you the database. Uh, it gives you the fingerprint from the database. So, yeah, it's fine. Right, quickly going to go up here, and then we will hand it in. I think this is going to be a full a full accept. It doesn't feel like there's any great problem. That looks about right. So it is hand in the case. So case submit for processing. Please wait for results. And... Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. M look at the we we murder weapon. No. It is solved, but apparently that was not the murder weapon. So it was a rifle, but it was not the rifle, apparently. How curious. Money and social credit increased. Okay, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of the game. I genuinely thought it was that. Unless there was a mistake in me handing in the... Handing this in. It is selected. I don't know. Either way, we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we'll do some more investigations. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.